We had a question come in from our viewer Ernesto Caro and Ernesto writes, my biggest curiosity is the pacing of the story. I'm a screenwriter and I love comics, but I couldn't even imagine how to pace a comic book in regard to dialogue versus action per page. Okay. Now, in order for me to answer this question, I need to talk a little bit about this company I established 10 years ago, actually in 2011. So back in 2011, it was quite clear to me that there was a real nexus between graphic novels and comics on the one hand and film and animation on the other. By which I mean to say more and more movies were being based on comic books and graphic novels. For example, most people are familiar with the movie Road to Perdition. What most people don't know is that started its life as a graphic novel. It was written by a well-known mystery novelist, Max Allen Collins, and it was taken to Hollywood by a fellow named Ken F. Levin, who is also the publisher and founder of First Comics that publishes Zen, okay? And so I knew, I knew that there was a real connection between movies and comic books. And so I came up with this concept of a company that is called <clears throat> Storyboard Graphic Novels. And it essentially says to screenwriters, but also producers, directors, and actors, give us your screenplay and we'll turn it into a graphic novel or a comic book series. And this brings up the answer to your viewer's uh, question. What happens is this, okay, after we sign a contract and we were on board with a screenwriter who, say, has a hundred page screenplay, okay? What happens is I read the screenplay and I start thinking about an appropriate artist for the genre of the book. Is it superhero? Is it a rom-com? Is it horror? Is it sci-fi, right? At the same time I'm doing that, I personally write the adaptation, the graphic novel adaptation. Many of my fellow writers in the industry have asked me, hey Steve, uh, could I write some of these adaptations for you? Thus far, I've, I've personally written every adaptation which is over 80 of them since 2011. It's probably closer to 100 now. The reason I do that is I always invoke this quote from uh, Liam Neeson in the movie Taken. Do you remember when he said, I have a particular set of skills? Well, I do. I have a particular set of skills. I know how to take a movie script and convert it into a graphic novel script. And some of the things that relate to that are, you know how there's a, a, a page of a screenplay is equivalent to a minute on the screen? Well, a, a page of a screenplay is equivalent to a page and a third in a graphic novel. In other words, it takes more than a one page of a screenplay to get it into a graphic novel. It's going to be like a page and a third. And this algorithm, if you want to call it, has proved correct for like dozens and dozens of, of books. So, you know, I came up with that algorithm and it works, right? But in terms of the pacing and what your viewer asked, you have to know how to take a screenplay which is written for the fluid medium of film and turn it into a script for the static medium of a comic book or graphic novel. Because a book is static. It's panel after panel after panel after panel. It's called sequential art. OK? 
okay? And this is something, because I've done it so frequently, I know how to, to do it. And part and parcel of that is also knowing things like how to keep a page cinematic by not only not overburdening it with too many panels, but just as important is how many words you can put on a page. How many word balloons maximum can go in a panel. So these are all like formulas, if you will, to ensure that the story moves along at the right pace, is still cinematic looking, and isn't overburdened by text, which is word balloons and captions. So <clears throat> again, to explain how to do this, it would be tantamount to explaining how to write a movie script, right? And um, that's something that we don't have enough time to discuss here. <laughs> oh, sure. But I'm curious, as a rule, how many word balloons are considered sort of the standard acceptable per panel? Two or three. But it all depends how many words are in each balloon. Uh, when you get into like a soliloquy or a monologue, you may have to uh, divide up uh, what the character is saying into like four panels because there's also like a maximum number of words you can put in a balloon, which is like 12 if you really must know, right? These are all formulas that I've worked out, right? And uh, yeah, so pacing, characters, cinematic nature, uh, uh, how much dialogue to put in, it's, it's an art and a science. That's great information, thank you. I'm gonna start really like noticing that. I think I'll start when I look at comics, I'm gonna really yeah. take notice of, of cause maybe to, to, the, to the amateur, pointing to myself, I wouldn't totally notice if it's too cluttered. Like I'll just notice something's off, but I won't know why. Right. Yeah. How many written pages is a comic book? Is there a standard? Well, I mean, uh, comic books today typically are 20 pages of story. There's a, the 20 page stories. There's also a new movement to have thicker comics, like almost double size, like 40 page books. So today a book is either maybe around 20 pages or around 40 pages. Um, but when you say written, a, a script, that I will write for a comic, it's pretty much uh, like one for one. A 20-page comic might take about 20 pages of script. How long does it take you to write a comic book? The answer to that is as long as it takes. There's no strict answer. Sometimes, you know, you can get up in the morning, your subconscious has been working, you sit down at the computer, and within an hour or two, you've got the script. Then again, you can have some writer's block or some issues you can't quite uh, resolve that quickly and it could take a month. Again, there's really no definitive answer to that. Do you find personally though that you're better uh, in the morning or uh, maybe a certain time in the afternoon? Well, I'm not a morning person, okay? Um, and I'm kind of erratic, to be honest with you, you know, because I've been in business for myself for so long, I have to set my own schedule. And uh, as a result, if there's a deadline coming up, I'll get it done uh, because I have no option. Uh, so the answer, unfortunately, is there's no easy answer. <laughs>